Okay, well, so um, I'm a graphic design by trade, graphic designer by trade. Okay. Uh, that's what I do is graphic design. And then I moved into more like user experience design. Most people don't know what that means. Okay. So I usually just say graphic design with the ability to test. Awesome. And do research. So that's kind of what I do. I've been doing it for like 15 years now. Okay. One of the, my previous jobs, we were uh, doing like an employee stock purchase plan. Okay. And that kind of got me into stocks and trading and just in general, just wasn't doing anything else other than their stocks, um, just because it was a great benefit. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So uh, for me, it was all just kind of an education. I really thought when I came in here, it was going to be stocks. Like I had no clue. I kind of, you know, signed up for light and just let things go for a couple of months and didn't really think about it. Okay. And then finally I was like, you know what, if I'm going to try this, I'm paying for it. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and like demo trade. So I started demo trading and it just took off and it was so much fun. And then I jumped in and started doing, um, the coaching. Okay. And that's where it took off from there. So Chris, what, what was the one-on-one -on -one coaching like? So you, you had demo traded, you're like, okay, I'm getting into this. Yeah. And, uh, and then to have that coach, uh, so it's twice a week for yep. one hour per session. Yep. And uh, what, what was that like for you? So for me, I think the thing that got me into coaching was um, that I really wanted to put it to the test, right? All this information that I've been learning, and for me it was this community, right? That's what really sold me. And I was like, yep, I'm going to do coaching because those webinars and that type of stuff like yeah. really pushed me into the coaching. Okay, awesome. And so when I got in with uh, my coach one-on-one, -on -one, um, it was just great to get that information in a more solid format for me. That's what coaching put me into was kind of that next level of, okay, it was more one-on-one -on -one where that time with my coach was, hey, this is how I do it. And this is really the right way to do it and the wrong way to do it and the safe way to do it. Okay. And for me, that was huge. Like when they started teaching me about hedging and price averaging, like all these terms when I was in like the light meetings. That you would I was hear, like, but you're like, like oh, what are they talking oh, about? It's like going to a new company and all of a sudden they're all speaking acronyms. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like writing down words like, I don't know what this means. <laughs> <laughs> and so for me, my coach told me, take it like school, like it's homework Yeah. and really take it seriously. And yeah, it was an investment, but like for me, I treated it like I was paying tuition. Awesome. And so um, those two hours a week were great. And he probably hated me because I was like, the only time I can meet is 6 a.m. So we've like from <laughs> 6 to 7 a.m. twice a week. And, and plus it was a great experience for me for him to have such a great attitude about trading. Um, what would you say about the leading indicators? So this is our proprietary software. Um, how hard was that for you to get a, a grasp of that? And was the coaching where it kind of put you over the, the top to really understand how to use the software to your advantage? Yeah, so like I said, my coach told me to really tra take, or take trading or this coaching as like homework, right? And like schooling. And the back office videos were awesome. So going through those back office videos, really kind of helped me during the week prepare my questions so that my coach could answer them. Yeah. And for me to come prepared with things to ask about the videos or about the indicators, um, that totally helped. But like for me, I think it helped that I didn't know anything about indicators at all. Okay, you, no bad habits yeah, to break. no bad habits to break. Like I had <laughs> no clue. I was like, well, I've seen like graphs and charts like this, yeah. but to see how it, well, how it works and how it reacts to the market um, and seeing those lagging and, and leading indicators was huge. That's great. And it got me excited about it to the point where in the demo, like when I was paper trading through coaching, mm -hmm. I was test certain things. Yeah. Like one thing that I think that I loved the most from coaching is my coach said, uh, place a trade in each direction right now and forget about them. Let it go for like a week and then come back to him and, and then let's see where you're at and you gotta get out of this. <laughs> see and if you're really learning yeah, the principles totally. and applying and, them. Yeah, and then it was like, wow, okay, so close one, right, for yep. profit, but then I've gotta get out of this loss that's just huge because the markets can go 100 pips one direction, yep. like overnight. And so I was totally like 
under and I was like, how fast can I get back to this? And, and to clarify, think, you're demo trading, right? I'm totally demo trading, <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing is like taking these things and going back into a demo account. So even when I learn new things, it's fun to go back into a demo account, not to a live account, yeah. but into a demo account and say, hey, can I prove this? So here's, here's a question that, uh, that almost every prospective student asks, what is it like to go from demo trading to taking your account live? So you go through the coaching, yeah. you're all set, you get a funded account and you're like, okay, now I've got to take my first live trade. What, what was that like for you? Um, it, was, it was a little nerve wracking, like, but I think that because of the, all the situations that I had been put in, in in demo, it was super easy for me to just be like, um, I, I can like check my emotions, right? Okay. I had I, like demo training, I lost four accounts. Wow. Like completely <laughs> lost them. And uh, I was like, that was then that happened fast. And that's the good part is you can just oh, open totally. another demo account. Well, and... like I didn't know about hedging yet, right? And okay. I didn't know how to like trade safely. And I was just playing around and trying to think that I could guess what the market would do, right? Or yeah. guess what the indicators were gonna do. But if I just followed the indicators, um, it was totally working. So it was a little bit nerve wracking, but I think that I had gotten a lot of my emotions out demo trading. So I, didn't, I don't think it was as nerve wracking as it could have been. Okay. If I had just without coaching and maybe read some stuff online about trading, jumped in with my own money. Okay. And the other thing, the fact that it wasn't my money, I mean, it, I had put in my investment. Right. Right, for coaching. But yeah. again, I treated that as tuition, that that was the price yeah. to my knowledge. And so then I, it was like, how fast can I double this money? That's yeah. kind of the mentality I, that I played. Okay. So I just I just started trading. Like I didn't I didn't hesitate. I literally got funded, and the next morning, like I probably stared at it like, okay. <laughs> and then the next morning, I just got up and I was like, okay, what's my routine? This is what I'm doing. Place a trade. So yeah, so I've been going since September of last year, and um, just received my third round of funding and. Awesome. I'm really excited about the future. And for me, it was just, at first, even though I treated it like a game, I was like, how fast can I double this money? Yeah. I came to realize that my strategy really was slow and easy. Like, this is a long-term play. Yeah. It's not a get-rich-quick. Um, and no one ever sold it to me like that. So I'm glad. That's good. They're not um, supposed to. <laughs> yeah, and they, t and they taught me how, that, like, being able to trade safely and have a community of traders around me and know that this is a long-term play. Um, for someone who's years away from retirement, I'm excited of the potential that I could not have to do my day job yeah. in like five to 10 years That's awesome. and still be far away from the normal yeah. like retirement age, right? So, yeah. so you've got a year of hindsight now, which is huge. Uh -huh. So what would you tell like new traders just coming in that are just learning that were in your shoes maybe a year or a year and a half ago? Um, what are some of the tips or advice that now with hindsight that you would give? Uh, demo trade like crazy and um, like lose money on purpose. Lose money on purpose in demo trading so mm -hmm. that you know what it feels like. Oh, that's, that's great advice. Because when it's live, when it's real money, it hurts way worse. But if you have no <laughs> clue as to what it could feel like. Yeah. Yeah. So in my opinion, it would be good. It would be wise to lose money demo trading. Okay, that's great And not advice. be afraid of the losses. I think in my demo trade, I really tried not to ever have a losing trade. And then that big problem happened. And then I learned more and more and I listened more and more to the coaches that said, it's okay to lose a trade every now and then. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So for me, it's don't be afraid to lose trades, but also listen to the people around you that know how to make safe trades. Okay. And don't ever think that you can guess what the market's going to do. <laughs> That's great advice. Ever. Don't ever think that even the leading indicators to be like, oh yeah, they're going to turn down right now because I can tell they're just, they're wanting to. Yeah. Because they won't. Yeah. <laughs> They'll go, oh, sorry. You cannot will the software, no. the leading indicators to do what you want. You have to you can't. follow the patterns. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. So. Well, cool. Well, Chris, I'd love to uh, maybe sit down in a, a year from now and see how things are totally. going for you. Yeah, I would too. Um, but thanks so much for coming in. You bet. And, uh, yeah, I'll look forward to touch base with you. Okay.